Hey everybody, Technical Wizard here, and today I just wanted to go ahead and point out a mistake I've made in some of my videos. But um, after episode 63, I put another episode as 63 for some odd reason. I guess because I was counting wrong. I messed up the intros on some of my videos, so I had to remove the numbers. They're wrong, so sorry about that, guys. And I'll never let that happen again, but um, why just sit around and talk about mistakes? Let's do something. So today's video will be about the Compact Presario 2200 and the Gateway E3200. Mainly about the Presario 2200. But, um, today I put the original hard drive back in. That has Windows NT 4.0. And still using that. G drive from the 5441 over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it has Windows NT 4.0, but the problem is, I don't know the password, <clears throat> and it doesn't give password hints, so, inside the Gateway E3200, I have a reset disk for the password, so you can see, NT 4.0 Service Pack 4, just go ahead and let this boot up, our drive seems healthy. It's a 1.6 gig. This is a hard drive I was using with it before that had Windows 95. But I like this hard drive more. I'm going to hit Control Alt Delete real quick. But um, it says Administrator on it. And um, oops. Um, so I don't have a password. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and remove the hard drive and put it inside the E3200. Which, real quick, I'll show you the <coughs> excuse me, the hard drive password reset for Windows NT 4.0 that I have on a CD. It's like a Linux kernel or something, but the thing is about Linux, I hate it with a passion. Just as much as Chromebooks. Actually, not as much as Chromebooks because I've used it before. It actually does more than Chromebooks do. But I still hate Chromebooks. Always have. Always will. Yeah. But, um. Whoops. What the heck? Let's see here. Why'd it do that? Okay, so I go ahead and boot up. <clears throat> CD's in the drive. Oh, there it goes. And um, Windows password reset, this was made in 2014. Hit enter and it'll load up. And um, you'll get the kernel, the command prompt, or whatever you call it. I just call it a command prompt. But, um, it'll say booting the kernel bomb. I tried this in the Presario 2200 and it just freezes where it says loading the kernel. And um, it, it apparently loads in this machine. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and. Get the hard drive from the Presario 2200, put it in the E3200, and then we'll begin. This is the part where the E3200 comes into play. Here's the Presario 2200, all taken apart. There's the cover of it and the E3200's cover. But I removed the E3200's hard drive and put the Presario 2200's hard drive in. So now we're going to... Hang on, i got to plug it in. I'm stupid. Plug this in. And um, we're going to go ahead and boot it up with the password reset CD, then reset the password. Reposition the monitor so I can see it. Young, see my reflection. Hi. The hard drive is 1.6 gigs, if you're wondering. 
There goes the CD. I. Let me pull up the website real quick for the thing you reset. There we go. Alright. Now it's loading up the disk. And that's the website if you're wondering on my computer. And the CD just spun down. What the heck? Try this again. Hang on a second. I have a place to sit down. Boot. Sorry for the shaky camera. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay guys, so here is the Presario 22 all hooked up as well as the Gateway E3200, but we don't need it anymore. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and boot this up and see if it works. So here we are. Let's go ahead and hit Control Delete, and um, there's guest typed in. So let's see if it works. Dun da da da. Oh, there it goes. What will it say? Huh? It worked. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Let's use in the recycling bin. Shut up, you. Um, where do you get to? Um, yeah. There's a recycling bin. Let's go to settings. Oops. X that out. And this was registered to Aaron Clark PCA. Well. Well, there's nothing interesting on here, so, um, you guys, guess that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Bye.